What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. So Tom Henderson, as you guys probably know him, he's a video game leaker. He's got hands on some first hand information about video games and some information inside video game studios. He posted a new article on his website, Insider Gaming, giving us his opinion on late 2025 game release dates, offering EA to delay the next Battlefield game to early 2026. And why do you think the reason for that is? The reason is Call of Duty 2025 and GTA 6. I respect Tom for what he's doing for the video game community. I really do. He's doing a really great job. But I just disagree with him on so many aspects of this article. And we're going to go over that. But the worst one is actually delaying Battlefield 6 to early 2026. Basically to spring of 2026. Battlefield is already delayed for around a year. We were supposed to have the next Battlefield game in the late 2024. Late 2024. And it's basically a one year delay. And by the way, I'll put the link to that article down in the description. If you want to read the full thing, the link is there so you can go ahead and check it out as well. But let's take a look at this article and see if Battlefield is really in danger. If you enjoy the content, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Consider doing that because it only takes one click and you won't miss out on the future videos. So first of all, as I said, the Battlefield game is already delayed. We were supposed to get the next Battlefield game in late 2024, but it's delayed now to late 2025. And we're all fine with that because with more time, they can give us a more polished game. Nothing like the disastrous 2042 release is going to happen again. And that's good. We know that we already have a playable version of the next Battlefield game and people at DICE and the other studios are actually able to play the game. That means the game has progressed to a reasonable degree and now it's just about polishing. So the more time they have, a better and more polished game we get. So we're fine with that. But in my opinion, we definitely should get no more delays. Like early 2026 is gonna be just too much. And the bad Call of Duty 2025 apparently is a sequel to Black Ops 2 based on what Tom says and it's promised to bring back the nostalgia in so many ways. And this is where, in my opinion, Tom is totally wrong. Let's read this part of the article really quick and see why he's actually wrong about this. So in the article, it says, according to Statista, Black Ops 2 is one of the best selling games in Call of Duty franchise, clocking in at nearly 30 million units sold. Nostalgia sells and when combined with Call of Duty Warzone, the series free to play offering, it isn't difficult to imagine that Call of Duty 2025 will be one of the series most successful games. Just because Call of Duty 2025 is going to have nostalgia and going back to roots, it doesn't mean it's going to be successful. It just reminds me of the love letter to the fans that they claimed 2042 was. You see, going back to roots doesn't mean that game is going to be successful. We already know that the next Battlefield game is going to the roots, going for 64 player matches and trying to give the fans all they want, but we still know that that is not a guarantee for success. So in my opinion, Tom is absolutely wrong here. The next Call of Duty game might not even be successful with nostalgia and going back to roots. However, generally speaking, even if COD 2025 turns into a successful game, Battlefield players won't decide to turn into Call of Duty players all of a sudden just because the Call of Duty is good. That's not going to happen. And we don't even have it the other way around. Call of Duty players won't decide to become Battlefield players if the next Call of Duty game, the COD 2025, turns into a disaster. They won't become Battlefield players, you know? That's just not going to happen. The player base of these games are completely separated, in my opinion. I believe the only thing that COD and Battlefield have in common is being an FPS game. Like, there is so many things different with these two games. Even back in the day when we had Battlefield 3 and like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, something like that, these games were completely different. They were just shooters, but they're completely different. The concept of multiplayer is completely different in these two franchises. And that is still true to this date. You know, Tom says people might want to decide which one to play. But in my opinion, even if COD turns into a disaster, COD players will remain COD players. COD will have a lot of attention of celebrities, the NBA players, and the huge player base that it's got. You know, no NBA player or celebrity, Snoop Dogg, wouldn't turn into a Battlefield player. That's just not gonna happen, guys. So COD is gonna get that 
attention anyways. Battlefield is a different game with smaller player base, but a more unique player base, I would say. I don't think COD 2025 success nor failure has any impact on Battlefield. However, GTA 6 is something else because people have been waiting for almost a decade not almost a decade, I believe it's even more than a decade because GTA 5 was released in 2013 and now we're in 2024. So people have been waiting for that thing more than a decade. And so there's really a lot of hype around it. However, it's just a casual game. And you might disagree with me on this one, but GTA 6 will be a bigger threat for COD than for Battlefield because the player base of GTA and COD are just closer and more casual compared to the Battlefield player base. I don't think a Battlefield fan would miss a Battlefield new release for the next GTA game. At least not if the next Battlefield game is a worthy one. That's just not gonna happen. And another part of this article, Tom actually mentions that spring of 2026 is a good time for the next Battlefield game to be released. And the reason for that is after three to four months of the new Call of Duty game release, the Call of Duty players get bored and they start looking for another game to play. That other game to play for a Call of Duty player is not going to be Battlefield, guys. It's really hard for a Call of Duty fan to switch to Battlefield and have fun in my opinion. Especially for someone who's been playing Call of Duty for a long time, that switch is just gonna be harder than anything else. The communities, the player base, everything about these games are separated. And I believe the next game that a COD player wants to play is gonna be the GTA 6. As I said, I do believe the player base of these two franchises are more casual nowadays. Like we've got five-year-old kids up until like old men playing Call of Duty and GTA. We've got that, you know? But you don't see a five-year-old kid playing Battlefield. At least I haven't seen anything like that. So I believe the communities of GTA and Call of Duty are really closer to each other. And I believe the biggest threat for the next Call of Duty, not next Call of Duty, but Call of Duty 2025 is gonna be GTA 6. And I also believe that if Rockstar decides to release the GTA 6 a few months earlier, like in the middle of 2025, maybe things would go even better for the GTA game itself because there's not really a lot of new releases on the market in that date and uh, there will be only GTA 6 to dominate, you know? And then it's not gonna be uh, going head to head with Call of Duty, with Battlefield. And I do believe it's gonna be a win-win for Rockstar and for the FPS games that are coming out in the late 2025. That's what I believe, but I don't think that's gonna happen because like the traditional release dates for all these video games is the late months of the year. That has been always the case, both for Rockstar and for Activision. And that's also the exact same for EA as well. There's also another scenario, which in my opinion is very unlikely to happen, but maybe EA decides to release the next Battlefield game sooner, which is something that I just really don't like. Because every single time that something like that happens, the game turns out to be like unpolished and not a complete game free to play and that is really scary for battlefield because that might actually end the franchise like it's, it might actually kill everything like battlefield is in a very sensitive state right now like call of duty has its yearly release there are tons of people buying it no matter how bad that is gta has a lot of hype around it no matter how bad that turns out to be people will still buy it and enjoy it but battlefield is really in a sensitive state any mistake like the smallest of mistakes can ruin the franchise forever. And that is what we're dealing with. Go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this whole thing. Let me know if Call of Duty 2025 is going to be a threat for the next Battlefield game. Let me know what you think about GTA 6 coming out in the exact same date. Uh, do you really think that GTA is going to be a game changer here for both COD and Battlefield? And let me know what you think about the release date of the next Battlefield game. Do you really want to delay it further to early 2026? Or you want it in the, I don't know late 2025 or you want dice to actually release it sooner in the middle of 2025 so yeah go ahead and let me know what you think and hope you enjoy the content guys until next time stay cool